What's up? This is JD. Do you see this equation? There's an actual message buried in this equation that can read in simple English. I promise. But all you gotta do is first solve for x, and then you will find a message. The n, w, r, a, and y are variables. So they can stand for anything. But if we get x by itself and somehow turn all this to the other side, then you will find a message. So let's solve for x. What do I mean by solving for x? I simply mean that if you have an equation such as 2 x plus 1 equals 7, if we, in this case, if we have this simple equation, you want to get x by itself, you subtract 1 on both sides, so you get 6, 7 minus 1 is 6, and then you divide by 2, you will get x equal 3. So in this case, x equals 3, and we know we are correct because if you input the 3 back here, you will get a valid equation. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, so we know that's correct. That's the awesome thing about math. You can prove your own work before you give it to the teacher. But for today, back to this equation, this logarithmic equation, and if we solve for x using the basic principles of math, you will get that message. Um, first thing you want to do is get rid of this log, because we have a logarithmic equation with a natural base of e. To do that, we look at our inverse properties. The inverse property in question is, if you take e to the power of ln of x, that becomes simply x. These, uh, the e cancels out the ln because the ln has an imaginary base of 3, that's the point, and then that becomes x. What is e? e is uh, an Euler's number, it's a constant, it's 2.718. It, it has a lot of applications in finance, when you want to figure out how much money you will get in an investment, that gets compound interest continuously. So, um, but in the, today we're just using e, so what happens is that when you take e as the base, and you convert this into an exponential equation, you will get e to the power of 1. So this is the right side, we, take, we took e, and when we do that, we uh, cancel out the ln, but we're also going to multiply the 2nw minus 2ray and put it back to this side, because if you, if you divide by it, you can multiply it. So on the left, you will get 2x plus 4,044 times on both sides. So we multiply all this to the right. We get 2nw minus 2ray. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to distribute this e on both terms. At the same time, we're going to subtract by 4,444. 4,044. So we should get 2x, the e times, I'm going to get rid of this to the power of 1 because it's redundant. So we got e times 2nw minus e 2ray minus 4,044. So now we got this. Do you see that message? Not yet? You will soon. Now we want to divide everything by 2. We want to get that x by itself. That x is what we're trying to isolate. I want my x in blue. So now we have our x by itself. We divide here this, each of these three terms by 2. And we're going to rearrange the nw and the e due to the cumulative property that allows us to do that. 3 times 2 is 6, but so is 3 times 2 and 2 times 3, right? The same thing. So we have tomato. In this case, we're going to cancel out and we get n e w minus r y. We can rotate that around y e a r 4044 divided by 2 is simply 2022. And there you go. That's our message. Happy New Year 2022. Thank you.